In this video, you will learn what to do on Khan Academy after you finish your weekly assignments from your teacher. So you will look on the left side above where your assignments are and click on Course Mastery. This is also the page you see when you first log into your account and it will show the mastery goal that your teacher set for you. Click on that and it will take you to your math course. So the very first thing you should do is try taking the course challenge. So look down here in the lower left hand corner. There's this person with the crown. Click on that. You can also just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you will have the opportunity to take the course challenge. That will quickly increase your mastery points that you see in the upper left and will help you zoom in on the math that you need to learn or practice next. So you can retake this. It will probably take you at least half an hour, so make sure you have time. If your score is 70% or higher, try retaking it one or two more times to really raise your mastery score. You don't need to take it three times back to back. You could take it one day, take it again the next day, take it again the day after that. Don't expect you to spend four hours a day on Khan Academy. Don't worry. Once you have done that, you will notice that these little mastery bars for each unit start to fill up. So you start to get mastery points for each unit. Go all the way back to the top and try to get mastery in each course one by one. So if I click on decimal place value, I don't have very many mastery points yet, but you know what? I know that I learned decimal place value already this year. I don't think I need to watch all the videos, which you can see here, and do all the lessons from start to finish. If I do need to, I can click on the title of the lesson here, decimal place value intro, and that will take me through each video, article, and set of practice problems step by step. If I think I'm ready though to take a unit test and try to level up decimal place value, I can do the same thing I did with the course mastery page. I can either click on the green person with the crown next to where it says unit test or scroll all the way to the bottom and I can start unit test. Again, this is a quick way to increase my mastery of this topic. If I take this unit test and I get below like a 70%, I should probably go back and watch some videos, do the whole lesson to make sure I understand the content before I take a quiz or test on it. So do this for each unit. If you want to go back to your course page, look up above your course mastery or your unit mastery numbers to where it has the title of the unit and click on the name of the course. So if you're in fifth grade, it will probably say fifth grade. There's another thing you can do to level up your mastery quickly, which is once a day you'll get a mastery challenge with just six questions that you can get started on. It will give you questions on skills you've already practiced and will let you level up quickly. If you finish all of the units for your grade level, that would be a good time for you to challenge yourself to try the next grade level up. So if you need to access a different course, look in the very top left corner, click on courses, and you can see all of the cool classes that Khan Academy has for you to take. You can take any math from preschool all the way up through high school. There are also some other classes if you're interested in things like computer programming. You can do the grammar course. That's a great way to practice those skills. So if I finish fifth grade, if I get mastery in this course, then I can move on to sixth grade. But make sure that you have mastered your 
goal that your teacher set for you. So I'm going back to my class, John Hay Elementary, fifth grade, and my teacher set a course mastery goal of fifth grade math for me. I am at 27%. I should finish this goal before I move on to the next grade level.